Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading, but I do post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading, Mondays are a different style every week. All right, we're going to begin here. What advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Pisces? All right, we will lay out the tarot, and I'll also pull a Sacred Destiny Oracle card, and if you don't mind hitting the like button, I sure appreciate it. It helps to get the reading into the algorithm so people will see it. All right, you have courage here. We'll talk about that one in a minute. Your current situation, you've got the Queen of Swords. The immediate influence is the Eight of Pentacles. You have the world in your subconscious. You have the tower in the distant past. We've got the Knight of Wands in the more recent past, the Four of Wands is coming towards you. Interesting. You've got the Four Five of Wands. You're represented by the Five of Wands. You're attracting the Queen of Wands. You've got the Knight of Swords and your hopes and fears, the Empress and the outcome. You are headed straight for the love, a love cycle here. I was going to say the love machine and then I stopped myself. I was like, what is that? Um, but I'll tell you what, when you have the Empress and we're going to get these bottom cards and the Queen of Wands, okay, they are... They're abundant and prosperous, but look, their knees are drawn apart for a reason. Okay, you're going to have, I'm telling you what, somebody coming in where you have insane chemistry with this person. So let's get back to this here. Bottom of the deck here, we've got the Hanged Man, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. And so I do feel like if you were passed over for something at work, if you didn't get a promotion or you didn't get an opportunity even, and you're having second thoughts, like, can I continue here? If I'm not going to have more opportunities, I think I, I don't want to be here anymore. Or if you had a turn of events where you worked really hard and nobody acknowledged it, nobody cared, and it almost seemed like, or you were criticized even worse, you know, it makes you not want to do it anymore. And if it's a relationship too, where you invested a lot in it and it ended, and you're kind of coming out of that with that, Hanged man energy. The hanged man is a, can be a, a light midlife crisis, even if you're not in midlife. You know, it's that, that kind of card where it's like you turn the world upside down, you're upside down on your head looking at things differently. It's surrender to win. As I always say, surrender to win with let go or be dragged. These two are important when they show up together because there's a change. So back to this before we go too far. You have courage here, like I said, and I hope you can see this card. I've noticed I've been holding the cards too close to the camera. Look at this beautiful card, okay? You've got that crashing surf. And if you've ever been out to, if you're not from here or if you are, California, and just seeing like where the surf just crashes on the rocks of, you know, San Diego or that sort of area, and it's just gorgeous. But there's something about this that's powerful, okay? That power, and you say, I would not dare try to get in there. I'd get washed away because of the power of it all. So I feel like you're going to be in this state where it's time for you to take charge of something. And if you have been a bit, what I would say is even depressed, you know, sometimes we we say we're burned out because it's a polite way of saying, really, we've got a low level of depression because that sounds like it's stigmatizing. There's still a stigma, even though there shouldn't be. I'm a, a fully licensed clinician, okay? I'm a licensed clinical social worker by trade. So I would tell you, I don't believe that there should be, but there is in some circles. So I feel like for somebody, it's time to it's time to move forward, but it's also time to make changes. Time to make changes that bring joy to your heart. So I think I mentioned you have four major arcana, but isn't this gorgeous? Let's put it this way. You have the mother of the tarot with the dancer of the tarot. And the four of wands coming towards you, you are coming into such happier times ahead. And you are drawing this into your awareness. So I do feel like they're trying to say, don't quit five minutes before that miracle happens. When you see this kind of stuff showing up 
in your cards. And if it's also too, you've got a marriage here in fertility. So if you are married, I feel like you're going to enter the next chapter in that marriage, in that relationship. And it's about, all about expansion. It's about a true partnership. Whatever you're asking about is about expansion. The Empress too, though, tells us it's time to get busy. Okay. And with the Four of Wands too, it's time to take action, whatever it is. So um, we'll dabble in this just for a moment. But I'll tell you what, with that Five of Cups, there's a disappointment here, but there's almost too much focus on it. And the Nine of Wands, too. The Nine of Wands is beatered and beatered, battered and beaten. And, um, you know, he wears that bandage around his head because he's got a psychic wound. And so if you had somebody who did a number on you mentally, somebody turned on you, somebody didn't acknowledge you, like I said, that hangman energy is going to allow you to see them. And uh, also, too, I think yourself in a brand new light. And it also, I feel like if it kind of took a toll on your self-worth and it really, it, I just feel like somebody here got stopped in their tracks. I feel like you're going to be released from that with the hanged man, where you're also too going to be able to see what wasn't a match. And it's not really about taking their inventory and saying what a horrible person they are or situation or environment. It's really about saying, what is it that I truly want in my life? And so you gain a new perspective here, a higher perspective, and it really does translate into freedom. Now, I like to point this out if you watch this channel. They are both they both have their legs in the number four position. I mentioned this from time to time. I used to sleep like that, not realizing or associating it with either one of these two. But there's, a, there's magic about the fours, okay? And so it's going to bring order to your life, but you have expansion. It's like making the right choices. Coming into your own is what I'm getting. So your hard work is going to pay off. Even if you end up going on to a new job with that Queen of Swords, she looks straight forward. She doesn't look behind her. She doesn't really even care what people think. And she's not, you know, she's not connected or or... She's not dependent on somebody else's opinion of her to find her own value. And so with that Queen of Swords energy, she's been wounded, but she moves forward. She doesn't stay there. She's the card of the Widow in the Tarot. So I do feel like there's an ending, but you have such an illustrious brand new beginning. I just don't see it stopping you. It's like they're saying, have the courage to change is what they keep saying. And with the Eight of Pentacles, if it's a job, I do feel like you're going to have much better work environment. If you were out of your element a little bit and you could just never really get completely comfortable, that may have been a piece of what was going on there. If it's something to do with a move, though, this is great for anybody who needs to sign a contract. The Queen of Swords is very decisive. She can be the card of the attorney, too. Um, but she's very, she's got clarity and wonderful. She's brilliant, wildly intelligent. She's also quite sarcastic and witty. So I do feel like if you have any contracts, they're going to be in order. They're going to be handled well. I mentioned the fours. Those are about stability. And so if there's anything like that as you move forward, you're going to find it. You've got great aspects for love here, though, too. So if you've been single for a while and just investing in yourself, the very best investment of all, I do feel like you're right on the precipice of meeting somebody who's going to be spectacular. They are going to make your toes tingle. And if you're in a relationship and you've been doing too much of this, I do feel you're getting going to be reconnected, be back in the in the place of really drawing in partnership, being together as a true partnership. Well, what can you ask for more than the world? You're perfect in this energy, and that's what you're attracting. Your point of attraction is true perfection, whatever that means to you. It's definitely about successfully completing something amazing. It also can take you on an adventure. This world is an adventure, yes, but you could end up on a trip. Somebody here, if you're thinking about walking, like I get walking across or hiking across like an entire state or a country. If you're thinking about going to Portugal or somewhere, I heard that. I've never been there. I've heard it's beautiful and that you can walk for, take trips that are like a week of walking. I don't know if that's for you. Great. But I do feel like it's bringing in that sort of thing. Things that are on your bucket list are going to be yours in this energy. And so know that with this, you're going to be having a time of true success. A perfect moment in time is what I hear. Well, you had to take a punch with the tower. Sometimes the tower is not that way. Um, but speaking of midlife crisis, you got it here too. And you, you may have seen this coming. And if you did not act, 
you're, I feel like somebody may have a bit of regret. It, this is how we end up generating five of cups. The tower comes in and we don't do anything. And we go, damn it, I saw that coming. I didn't do anything. The tower urges us to take action because if you do, you're going to feel in control. If you wait for the tower to strike, if you wait for the building to collapse, you're going to be jumping for your life. Okay, so I, do, I this is in the past, so you may have already had the moment or you might be sitting there going, nope, I took the action finally, and I'm so glad I did. It was, I turned a situation that could have been perilous. And, and it may be not have been truly, that might be a little over-dramatized, but you know what I mean. It could have been really bad. If you had the ending of a relationship, though, I do feel like it was for the best. I'm just going to be honest. You have a true partnership coming in here. And I feel like you're going to have a, a different kind of a love than you're used to. It's somebody who really, truly cares about you. And that's all they're concerned about in the relationship. They're not worried about how they look on social media. They're not worried about what it can do for their lives. They're looking to be a partner. So if you haven't had that before, get ready because you're about to. So with the Knight of Wands here, the Knight of Wands is a bit frisky. If you had a breakup and you had a palate cleanser in between, here's your Knight of Wands palate cleanser. Okay, if that's the case. But I do feel like whoever you're bringing in here, you have a, an incredible chemistry with. So if you're saying, no, 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 I'm totally in love with this person, it may also be just a relationship that took off hot because you have love here. I can't deny that. But I also feel like the Knight of Wands, whatever you went through, it may have inspired you to get back in the saddle immediately, whether it was a relationship or a job or a disappointment where you say, I'm just not going to live there. The Knight of Wands will not live in self-pity. Otherwise, he'd be the Knight of Pity. He wouldn't be the Knight of Wands. And so he says, let's move forward. Get on the back of my horse. I'm driving. So I feel like you have this inspired energy. And if it's somebody around you too, if it's a job situation and you have somebody who's trying to recruit you, I feel like you've got a knight of wands and they come to the rescue. Honestly, knights are in a quest. So they come to do something for us. Well, with the four of wands here, you've got that 1111 card. It is a card of freedom. It's a card of new beginnings, but it is a card of celebration. You have it many times here. So get ready to see your life take a turn and get ready here to be in a place where you really feel safe. You feel loved. You feel cared about. You have new opportunities and these new opportunities are law of attraction energy. So I feel like you're going to have a change or a transition. It's definitely in the cards and it, you might find that it brings just a little bit of anxiety, but I feel like it's exciting, but there's still sort of that undercurrent of, I don't completely love this emotional state um, with the five of wands that comes in. So this is you. Now, I also feel like too, you might feel a bit like a ping pong match, like you're getting a lot of back and forth, or you might be getting the run around and that's part of this too. And then I feel like it's like time for you. For some, it might be about setting a boundary, but it's also about time for you to take some action, like I said before. Otherwise, you're going to feel like you're kind of in the middle of this mosh pit. But with the Queen of Wands coming in, this Queen of Wands is an absolutely beautiful energy. It's it's a very attractive energy if it's a person. They're very, very physically attractive, but they radiate an inner joy and strength and that, that energy of, of somebody who is committed. Okay, this is somebody whose loyalty does not have an expiration date. This is somebody when they say, I am here for you, they mean it. So I do feel like with this Queen of Wands, you're going to find um, that they just have you and the person you have, he, you, you are attracting, are going to have this ability where you can stand in your own power, but you're also going to be able to do it in a loving way. And if you have to let go of something, you also do that with love. So this Knight of Swords, another knight showing up here. Well, this one, it's in your hopes and fears. This one can be a bit supercharged, even a bit aggressive. So with this Knight of Swords, though, it is the relentless pursuit of the truth. So if something, again, is, is something you didn't want to see, you may find that you are going to be blinded by the light here. You are going to be seeing the truth. And truthfully, with the Empress here, nothing's better. I mean, it's the energy of love. That's what you're walking into. A time of true beauty, a time of wonderful creativity. She's a multiplier of forms and ideas, but she's also the path to the heart. And so meditate. You notice that trickle of water in the backdrop? Meditate because that's how you go from here 
to here. This is all about your ascension. And so I definitely feel like you're bringing in a period that's going to be very successful, but it's also going to be filled with love. So let's see now what the fortune oracle wants to say. You have here the owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. So you may even discover some things about yourself that I feel like once you once you're there, you'll never let go. It's really a time where you're going to keep building up and up. All right, and this is the whispers of love. You have here the be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Allow yourself to be anything because you're beautiful and you're worth it. So good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you and I'll be back again soon.